Oh, it's beautiful. Welcome to day 60. And I've just crossed the Welsh English border again and I'm basically following the border line uh, down towards Cardiff. I stayed in Montgomery last night. I managed to get myself to Cherbury and met up with a lovely lady called Julie and a guy called Wynne who um, kindly um, didn't have space um, but managed to speak to a lovely chap called Kieran who put me up in the Dragon in Montgomery which is fantastic and uh, thanks again to Oz he, uh, he wanted to uh, buy a dinner which didn't happen several weeks ago because the restaurant I went into wouldn't let him pay they wanted to give me it for free which is amazing so he got to pay for it last night which is wonderful so thank you Oz thank you Kieran and um, thank you Julie and Wynn and I'm now going to go and try and get out of the way of this I assume postal van yes it is a postal van postal vans and tractors that's about it really here but this is kind of what it's all about really Where England meets Wales. Shropshire Palace border. Powys? How do you spell it? Powys? Is it uh, pronounced Powys? Anyway, um, having a lovely, beautiful, sunny day. 20 miler today, going down to Knighton. Um, mm -hmm. And not a lot in between, but Montgomery is in one valley and Knighton's in another valley. And so, uh, the kind of the main roads that go down in the valleys uh, aren't appropriate so I decided just to cut over these hills um, which is amazing they're beautiful and they were fairly steep back there uh, one in three I reckon maybe one in four maybe I'm exaggerating but I've got a good sweat on and um, pretty happy today really nothing much more to report so, therefore, I shall bang on about Global Truce 2012 again. Have you not heard of Global Truce 2012? It's basically the coalition campaign to mark the United Nations International Day of Peace on the 21st of September. 21st of September, every year, is the day where the world comes together to try and create a day of non-violence. There are campaigns to do with domestic abuse, to do with student bullying and to do with creating ceasefires in conflict zones around the world and it's all about an organisation called Peace One Day who basically are bringing together these coalitions 540 different organisations at the moment um, and, in, and rising all the time and schools and NGOs and you name it everyone's getting involved everyone from Ban Ki-moon and the uh, United Nations all the way through to heads of state through to you now my point is that you guys are more important because if the grassroots demand peace it'll happen it won't happen if the organizations above just tell us we need to be peaceful so it's down to us to mark the day I'm going to mark the day this year by spending it in London visiting other people doing other projects and so forth the little big peace event check it out Hello. and uh, meeting uh, Timothy Peace Jean-Baptiste of uh, um, Time for World Peace and other organisations Nilapool Foundation are in Dundee they're doing stuff uh, amazing stuff actually um, and the Rights of Humanity guys in Liverpool and you name it people doing it all around the country but it's about doing it in our homes as well so have a think, have a think what you're going to do, mark the day.
and uh, let me know on the Facebook page. And don't forget to pledge your support at peaceoneday.org and check out masterpiece.org. I'm going to keep going on about it, but that's what this is all about, raising awareness. Telling people, planting some seed, and then seeing what oaks grow. So, now back to this another little hill. It's only a small one, but they're cute and they're lovely. Going up here, over the top, down into Clun, and then down the road into Knighton for about five o'clock, six o'clock, to meet someone from CND Cymru, which I'm really looking forward to. So, from the Peace Day Pilgrim, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I'm very happy. Peace out.